So I had absolutely no intentions of vlogging uh, this weekend, but we're doing something quite exciting, or exciting in my books anyway. Um, some of you might know, but I had the floor redone in my horse box and this is all the clean wood from the old floor. And we decided, or we decided, or Brad sort of said, he could make me some proper shelves to go in my tack room, which is exciting, which is really sad, but that really excites me. Um, so we are going to tackle this tack room and give it a re-ramp and then I might as well incorporate a bit of a tour. <laughs> now <laughs> but what I've done is I've put I've moved that back again now um I it wouldn't fit that way with the shelves so all my rugs are on there now which I quite like that's very neat there and then obviously this will all get sorted out in a minute but I'm off to work now and hopefully when we get back there are some shelves <laughs> getting there um i decided to move everything around so everything is outside and i just need to put it all back now but it's looking good <laughs> How amazing does this look? Okay, so I'm gonna start with this box because this is really, really sentimental and it is where I keep all my tack and it also is where I put all my little sentimental pieces. Um, I was given this from my mum uh, when I was in hospital and I think even if I didn't have horses, I would never ever get rid of this box. So this is my tuck box. So my saddle lives there, my bridles, and what I love is this comes out. So I've got my daytime bridle on there and my show bridle, which still has its Concord brow band on, so it's got its funny case on. And I just noticed it's dirty. I need to clean, look at my boots. Oh dear, I need to clean my tuck. That slides there. And then in here is my hat and my gloves and ear when we stay in there and I leave the lorry keys in there because that's safe then um, that's kind of like that. put that back in and then I've just got my competition hair collar spare brow bands and my slightly stronger bit for if we're hacking out and what I love is this came with a mirror hello um and the cork board and whiteboards so that's really handy for shows so that is that 
my new tea area with my whiteboard, all my stuff, generator for shows, gas kettle, tea, sugar, my all my blue chip tokens that I keep, pens, tackling a box and a box of random stuff. And then we've got Dublin's wash bin, which I really need to get some washing done, don't I? Um, everyone has a bag of bags. My show hat is living up here just to stay safe for a bit. The Derby House bag has my show numbers in. Our box of reflective stuff, our lunging stuff, all my stable boots and turnout boots, and then all my normal riding boots. Brush boots, magnetic boots, more brush boots. I need to clean those really, don't I? All my numbers. I do not have as many as everyone else, but... And then bandages. So I hack out in these in the winter because of her allergies, but we do have a couple of matchy sets. But that's a big box of bandages. Got my medical box and all of our fencing down now there. Now this box won't stay here. This is all the stuff I've sorted out that I'm gonna either donate, sell, or do something with. And then I'm really chuffed with my new rug shelves, which are there. Yeah, all my supplements, blue chip. Um, I keep all my scoops and then my feed. So it's kind of a very short tack room tour. I don't have the biggest tack room, um, but I love it. I'm loving my new tack room and my new shelves. And I think it shows your age when you get really excited about new shelves. But uh, yes, hopefully it all works this way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I actually have thoroughly enjoyed cleaning all this out, actually. It's been really, really therapeutic, especially when in lockdown we need to do everything we possibly can to try and keep our spirits up. So thank you for watching. If you have liked, give it a thumbs up, maybe drop me a comment and subscribe. I'd be very, very grateful and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.